Constantino Lazarakis, Master of Wine, and this is the fifth episode of the E-Greek Wine Initiative, a series of educational videos for the Greek vineyard by Greek Wine Federation. We started covering mainland Greece from up north in Thrace and Macedonia, covered the Ionian Islands, and now we move towards the south to the central part of mainland Greece, Thessaly, and then what we call Sterea Elada. Thessaly is a great testament to a Venus natural selection. It is the biggest, most fertile plain in the whole of Greece. So, these precious lands cannot be wasted on grapevines. There are a lot more profitable things that you can do. So, the vineyards were expelled to isolated, less fertile soils. Maybe bad news for the growers, great news for the drinkers, because these are the sites that can make glorious wines. The region has three PDO appellations, and the most famous one is Rapsani. In a world of no injustice, Rapsani PDO wines would be famous across the globe. Why? These vines are grown on the slopes of Mount Olympus, one of the most important mountains of humankind. The Olympian gods had their home there. Possibly Rapsani was the nectar they are drinking. So, if you want to have a taste of the divine, grab a bottle of Rapsani. Rapsani is one of the four PDOs that allows Xenomavro in its blend. It's the smallest and the southernmost. But Xenomavro is not alone in here. It is together with Stavroto and Crassato, two rare local grape varieties. Rapsani wines are slightly different from the wines we expect in other appellations like Nausa. They are rounder with slightly higher alcohol, while the tannins are less xenomavro like they're less aggressive. Why is that? It is because of the use of the other two grape varieties. It's because of the warmer climate, because Rapsani has the warmest climate among the four PDOs of Xenomavro. It has to do with schist, because schist is dominating the soils of the Appalachian. Actually, in the local language, Rapsani means schist, and you have to see at least photos of this vineyard. However, within Rapsani, we do have variations because vineyards can go up from 100 to 800 meters, and there are a lot of really small, very old vine plots. So, different selections of vineyards create differing styles. The least well known appellation of Thessaly is towards the south, and it's called Anchialos. It is a white wine, a blend of Savatiano and Roditis. Clearly, we have some quality potential here, but very few people bottle wines, most of which are consumed in the vicinity. So, if you visit the area, make sure you go for a hunt on one of these bottles. Going towards the inland, towards the west, in the prefecture of Kadvitsa, we go to the PDO Messenicola. A great story there. Centuries ago, a French guy by the name of Messier Nicolas arrived in the area, brought vines, planted, propagated, tended them, and started making some lovely red wines out of these black grapes. So people, locals, were asking, whose grape is that? Well, it's the black grape, the Mavro of Messier Nicolas. So the variety was called Mavro Messier Nicolas, and this is the same name of the appellation we have today. And in order to connect, to have a French connection to the blend, we also include in minor percentages Syrah and Carignan. PDO Messenicola wines have to be tasted because they are quite distinct in style. They are opulent without having a full body. They have structure without having very coarse or very intense tannins. They're very food friendly. I expect these wines in a decade to be far better known. Thessaly had an unexpected gift for wine drinkers in Greece and elsewhere in the form of a very rare black grey variety called Limiona. But please pay attention. 
In previous episodes, we discussed Lignon, another black grape that is completely unrelated to Limnona. Lignon, Limnona. Welcome to the challenges of the Greek wine world. If you like wines from Menthea grape variety or wines from Pinot Noir, then you must taste Lignona. Silky tannins, bright acidity, complex nose dominated by herbs and red fruit. It also comes in all sorts of different guises, like light reds, fuller reds that can age for a decade, even rosés, still or sparkling. Limiona is grown in a variety of areas within Thessaly and beyond. Places like Tirnavos or Meteora, if you are a Linkin Park fan, then the album Meteora was named after this place of breathtaking beauty, even in Rapsani, but Limiona cannot be included in Rapsani PDO wines. Around Thessaly, we can discover a vast array of different grape varieties, either local, national or international. For example, Cabernet Sauvignon from Krania, again on the Mount Olympus. If I had to choose one, I would go for Malagusia. It seems that Malagusia has found a home standing very confidently next to the red wines of Limiona.